have Chip with the Foul Fighters, and we're up here at the Mob Squad's hangout still. Uh, we're going through the tips for early, season, early mid, mid season, and late season. And late season, we've done uh, the early and the late. We're going to go through mid season now. I think we both kind of have an idea of what we both like. I think it's real similar. One thing we haven't talked about at all on either the early season. I think we talked a little bit on the early season about calling. But we haven't talked a lot about calling on, on the birds. I want to do that with you Absolutely. for the, the mid-season. Yeah, and there's a big difference. We were just talking about that earlier about, uh, you know, we do a little bit more finesse. And, and it's why we did the early and the late different to kind of show you then what we, how we blend in for the mid-season. Early season geese, the difference is that uh, I only blow aggressive if the geese are leaving. There's a lot more live goose. I call live goose more finesse goose calling. And the only time we, and we have, and we will blow aggressive if the geese are leaving and sliding and, and we finished them up and killed them. We don't start the geese with aggressive. Whereas we get in the mid season and a little bit in late season because we can still have flight birds mixed in with our late season geese. You know, probably the most finicky geese are those early season geese. I think, yeah, I agree with that. It's what they're hearing coming from the field. That and besides, we only got 68% of our total crops are harvested. Right. So it leaves it limited to what we're, what we're eating, what they're eating and feeding on. Totally different in mid season and late season because all the, all the, pretty much all the fields are starting to be harvested yeah. by then. Um, you got a real advantage in the mid season when it comes to harvest crops and geese that are first new to the area. See, you can pull almost in any field. Um, that you want. The the difference is in the mid season is that we will pretty much start these and we'll do the flagging and stuff and once we got the geese coming, we actually will call more aggressive up front because we don't we want them birds on a string and we don't want to lose them. Um, we found with flight birds that they, they like numbers of, of spread, they like the number of deer, but they like the aggressive calling, they like the excitement because a lot of times so then you'll have a mix up between local geese and these flight birds that come in uh, the geese get more and, and strange geese to the air. I mean, these geese come in. They're on this field for one thing to feed. And it's, it's not that they call geese to come in and let's share this together. The actual reality of it is a goose gets aggressive because he's protecting what he thinks is his. And I use the analogy, you know, if your family was starving, you wouldn't sit here and call everybody in the town to come feed you and your family out of house and home. So you, if anybody is coming in to take what you've protected, I'm going to start getting vocal and get pretty protective because this is for me it's and my, my family. Yeah. yeah, basically with a goose that ain't protecting his family, this is about me. I'm protecting what I'm feeding. I don't want to, you know, they, they're survivors and opportunists like we talked earlier. So that's why when they hear geese in the air and then they start coming in, they'll start getting more vocal because they're protecting what's theirs on the ground. And as these geese come in, so what that does though in return is it excites the goose in the air because this goose in the air now thinks that this guy's got something he's protecting. It works both ways. They both start getting vocal. Um, you don't hear that, that vocalism in the early season from geese. You might hear a, a few spit notes, wah, 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 where it's totally a lot more barking going on. So we found that when, if I find something that works, if when I hit that note, we're watching this geese, and I'm going through my repertoire, and I'm trying different notes, boom, all of a sudden I hit that note that I seen, and I got my reaction. You know, and that goose starts coming in. How I hunt the mid-season geese and fly birds is I stay on that note, and I stay on them pretty aggressive. To they're on the ground. I think something else there you hit too, George, is the fact that when you hit, you're talking about you're watching that reaction. It's to one bird. If that bird, if that right. flocks 50 geese, I'm looking at one bird that reacts to me, and I'm trying to stay with that bird because if I get him, I'm more than likely going to bring the rest. Yeah, of Yeah, you're with looking me. up through there, and, and usually you pick out that one guy. Ooh, he just showed interest. <laughs> Boom, and you start getting on it. And once you know, he, he, I'm reading the body language. Yep. And once the language, whether with one or two or three or four geese that break off, you know, I'm going to stay on that. And what we found is that when we stay on that note and, you know, the classic that, well, you got to go to the lay down call. These geese didn't read the books on, on, on type of calls. And what we found on, on, on mid-season geese, when we go to a lay down call, what well, you want to do your murmur, where early season geese, we murmur more than anything, you know, because I call that ground noise. Mm -hmm. wah, 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 with the clock, wah, 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 wah. Okay, mid-season geese, they come in. When we started slowing from the fast down to the murmur, we would lose those birds. We lost their attention. They'd pull off really tough to get to come back in. And um, so that's where the, the calling is totally different between early season and the mid-season. Decoys, 
uh, where decoys come in different is that I talk a lot about not using um, as many centuries and active decoys, and I like using small decoys. What we'll do in the mid-season is that I'll mix some big decoys, and in the hole where I put my big decoys, almost all feeders, a few centuries, and then I take a lot of my lesser decoys, and guys wondering, I put them up front, and the guys, well, why, why is that different? My, there again, you know, this is based on, on calculation and deduction from our own experience, you know, monitoring and watching things, taking note of what's happening. And I have found that when the flight birds are here, the two, the local geese don't like the flight birds. The flight birds don't have a problem landing with the local geese. The local geese are the ones that have more of a problem that will seclude and go to their own setting. That's number one. Uh, geese be an opportunist. I'll do run more what I call the loose J in that mid-season where we're on our larger spread of decoys. My act is all sit on the side arm. And the reason I do that and I face them coming towards the feeding hole. 